Sunday. But before I begin, I want to introduce some people. Acting Public, uh, Acting Public Works Director, um, Chris Hornstein. Can, let me see Councilman O'Connor. Chief of Staff, Jake Wheatley. Jake Pollock, Director of Office and Management and Budget. Lisa Franks, Chief Operating and Administrative Officer. And Felicity Williams, I'm Assistant Chief of Staff. Again, I want to thank everybody for being out here. You know, four days into my administration, we were faced with our first winter weather event. It was an opportunity that I had to get a firsthand look at our city's capabilities to respond to inclement weather. Me and my senior staff spent time riding with our snowplow drivers and rode around our city throughout the night to ensure that we were able, that we were mobilizing all available resources to clear our roadways. We were out there and we seen it firsthand. I want to take an opportunity to thank our public works, our public works employees, our drivers and laborers who worked extensively, who worked extensive shifts to make sure our streets were treated and cleared. And they did an amazing job. We made sure that, oh, I'm sorry, can y'all hear me? Yes. They did an amazing job and they did all this with the resources they had available to them. Their dedication and commitment is what, they're de can y'all hear me? I know this is going in and out. Uh, their dedication and commitment to our city is what motivates me every day. We learned a lot in our first response to snow removal. And I'm here to announce today that we will get better. It has become clear to me that we must make additional investments and improvements in our equipment and operations and to, effective, to effectively and efficiently prepare and respond to winter weather. I want to be honest with you. We are working to undo years of disinvestment. Let's be clear, this is not a press conference to place blame, but it is important to be honest about our capabilities and stand here and stand and stand today and tell you that we're not what we want to be, but we will get there. Acting Public Works Director Chris Hornstein will outline adjustments we are making for the storm as well as changes that is on the way. All of these efforts are focused on our goals of making sure that all roadways in our city are safe and passable in a timely fashion. As a reminder to residents, here are some things that you can do to ensure your safety and your neighbors. Make sure you have the proper emergency equipment in your car and at home and make sure that you have your cell phone charger. When driving on icy road conditions, the shortest route is not always the safest. Consider less hilly routes to reach your destination when possible. And remember to drive slowly. The faster you are driving, the longer it takes to stop the vehicle. It is my promise to you that we will work to do our best to assess and continue to get better. Together, we will build a Pittsburgh for all and it starts with investing in our public works. Now I want to bring up Chris Feinstein and you can put the Thank you, Mayor. So this Sunday, the current forecasts are calling for about eight to 10 inches of snow. We expect this snowfall to arrive around 4 p.m. on Sunday, lasting through the night and tapering off around noon on Monday. The heaviest points of the snowfall are gonna be occurring over, overnight, Sunday night, around between midnight and 2 p.m., or I'm sorry, 2 a.m. Um, crews are gonna start their shift at 2 p.m. on Sunday. Where our primary focus in the beginning is gonna be on those primary routes and our emergency service routes, um, places near hospitals and our public safety facilities. We're, all, we're mobilizing all of our resources for this snow event. We have 20,000 tons of salt on stock. We have over 80 plows ready to go. Um, and, in, and on any given shift, we'll be have anywhere from 40 to 70 drivers on the roads plowing our streets. Additionally, um, we're bringing in all of our manpower resources to assist with um, the hand clearing of steps, sidewalks, and bridges. Um, this equates to about 80 people, and we'll have additional staff available to deal with emergency um, facilities issues that may come from power outages um, and heating and cooling concerns. As, Manny, as Mayor Ganey mentioned, uh, we've made improvements, and we continue to learn every time we have a snow event. Um, we recently increased our salt level um, on our trucks. And we've given our drivers even more capability and clearance to apply as much salt as they feel is appropriate on the streets and the situations that they see every night and every day on the roads during a winter event. Well, this is that mean they can 
adjust the amount of salt that's being applied? Absolutely. As Mayor Ganey, I'm sorry, excuse me. Um, with the administration's support, we've mandated overtime to ensure that we have all the capable resources we need to respond to this event. Additionally, over the course of the next few months, um, we're gonna have additional training opportunities for our environmental services drivers. They're gonna get their opportunity to ride in the truck with experienced public work staff. Um, this will give us additional resources in the future that we can tap on um, in the case of a snow event. Um, in the next few months, we'll begin construction of a new fourth division. This will allow for shorter trips from the garage to those neighborhoods directly in that area in the South Hills. This department is currently focused on replenishing our fleet of, of trucks and equipment. Um, we currently have 17 trucks on order. However, due to supply chain issues related to COVID-19, um, we have yet to be, see delivery of that and delivery of those trucks continues to be delayed. However, once more delivered, we'll be able to reduce the age of our fleet and be more responsive during a snow event. As a department, we are focused on answering Mayor Ganey's call for continuous improvement in response to our citizens. Thank you. Mayor? With that, we'll take any questions. Mayor, will contractors be brought in to help out? I know in the previous, in the past, they've relied a little bit on contractors who were planning to check in. If all options are on the table, Rick, and if we need to, we'll do whatever we need to do to make sure that these streets are um, plowed. You're going to retrain environmental service uh, drivers. That won't happen for this snowstorm, but in the future. <laughs> so, so we're having a training event um, during this time. It takes it takes time um, for you know a driver of a recycling truck or a. Um, packer as it will be to get acclimated to um, plowing our streets. Um, so we prefer to have them in the truck with experienced drivers. And then when they get an opportunity to drive, a driver will be sitting with them observing, making, um, you know, as a teaching opportunity. So it takes a couple of events for them to become acclimated with. This is a problem with last week's storm. All these side streets, the street streets, are plowed, especially in the line, H2, South Side. Well, I think part of the challenge was, and I'm going to say this too, it was a, it was a regional regional effect. But I think part of the challenge was the refreeze we had. We didn't anticipate temperatures to kind of drop as low as they did. We mobilized last last storm event. We mobilized our resources to pre-treat about at about noon. Um, so streets were treated. The primary focus, of course, is on our primary routes and our emergency routes at a pre-treat event. What do you think is the biggest problem? I think, the, quite honestly, do you, do you want me to answer? Sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I, quite honestly, I think the biggest problem is, is is the age and condition of our fleet. Our average age of our fleet is 11 years. If our fleet was properly aged, the average age would be about five to six years. Um, so our fleet's about twice as year old. What this causes for us is concerns. Um, trucks frequently go down for maintenance issues during a snow event. This takes that truck and that driver off the road. Um, if we were properly aged, I would, I would expect a significant um, increase in our ability to respond to the event. You don't think there's gonna be significant improvement for this snowstorm? I, th I, I expect a, an improvement for this snowstorm, yes. Is that um, those trucks were ordered last spring. I mean, it depends on the frequency of events. If we get a lot of snow this winter, they could be available this winter. But if we only get a few events, we're hopeful that they could be available next winter. Is there a problem with, uh, with GPS? Uh, with Absolutely. We, you know, we identified some of our vehicles that were what we call in manual mode um, that affects the reporting to the plow tracker. Um, we went through that process with our vehicle maintenance folks to take some of those vehicles off um, that um, and we're working to identify any trucks that we're not reporting as well. So we expect to be able to see more trucks in the snow plow tracker act for this event. And in the past, there have been a lot of problems with that automated salt mm -hmm. delivery system. Uh, Chris, the automated salt delivery system that yes. trucks was, was implemented a couple of years ago. Yes. Um, there have been a lot of issues. Drivers complaining that the salt just doesn't, they couldn't lay enough salt. When they hit an intersection, it would stop and wouldn't go. Mm -hmm. um, 
Have you rectified any of that? Uh, absolutely. And some of that was tied to the amount of salt that we were putting down. And drivers still also have the capability to, to, to blast and put as much salt down as they need. Yeah, we're gonna take one more question. Any other questions? You know, you heard me say earlier, we know we have to put additional investments in the public works. Um, and, we're, and, we're, and we're looking forward to doing that. Um, we just wanna tell the residents, we're doing all that we can. We're doing everything that we can to make sure that we get these streets plowed. And I want you to know we won't rest until we get it right. But I wanna thank the workers of the um, Department of Public Works again. They put in phenomenal work and they've been great and working with us. We know that they need some help and we're gonna get them all the assistance they like. I mean, that we can. So I just wanna say thank you and I appreciate it. Thank you. Ed Lester.